Good morning and welcome from the Trafford Centre here where we are at Paradise Island Adventure Golf. You can just see you can see us out there, we are. So yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to Paradise Island Adventure Golf for inviting us down here to take part in the uh, uh, the golf. One of the things we are missing though is they are doing a uh, annual Easter egg hunt, which is due from the 25th of March, and that runs through till the 1st of April. Um, so uh, so we're just just a bit early, aren't we? Uh, but that's something for anybody who's coming over Easter. That'd be really good to check out. And it, is, it costs £10.50 to do a uh, person, per person to do a course here, or £15.50 to do both courses, because there's two courses to pick from, and there's a round the world one and there is a jungle one which wait in a few minutes because they are doing uh, between 10 and 11 they have a quiet hour uh, which is great for anybody who's that's got anybody whole so that's the whole of traffic center as well so it's not just here uh, so that's great for anybody who's uh, got children with sensory issues where they can uh, come or, or adults as well yeah so um uh, so we're just going to give it a few minutes and then once uh, we've got all the sounds back up and running we're going to start our way around which one do you fancy the one upstairs, it's the jungle one. Yeah. Surprise so, me. Let's find out. <laughs> One of the things I've just noticed here is there is a digital scorecard you can just see there. It's not something that I've uh, actually seen before. Of all the golfs that we've done, have you seen one of them before, Robin? No. So that's it's really good because we're so rubbish and we've been to fill in the. <laughs> Quite often we have. A, we'll have what, just give each other a hole in one because yeah. we don't know. <laughs> just forgot to fill, we've done three holes and we forgot to put the numbers on there. So uh, yeah, so there's a digital scorecard, so that's quite good. That so maybe we'll use that this time and uh, um, then we'll figure out if Robin's been cheating or not. I, I'm not the one filling it in. It's you. <laughs> So you can see we're uh, at hole one here. So we are doing the Temple Ruins. You can see there, Robin's got the uh, the app up there, which has got the, the digital scorecard on. So it's got the hole, it's got the par as well, and it's got our uh, individual names, and so you can be able to keep score quite easily. That's quite good, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, really good actually. Yeah. Really quick to that do makes things well. quite easy because uh, I'm well, not the best still with maths. Forget to fill it in. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's like an alarm going yeah. off every single thing. I have to say, first impressions here, the theming's quite good, isn't it? Looking at all the, uh, it, it reminds me a little bit of, you know, Wallaby, um, Belgium, around where Popcorn Revenge is. Oh, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that area there. Um, yeah, so we've picked the uh, Temple Ruins course here. So Robin's going to go first, and uh, we've got a shark there as well. Looks like it's bursting its way out of the um, uh, the ship there. I'm so, scared, I'm scared. Oh, so Robin is scared of sharks. Why but... not? Why? <laughs> there she goes. Oh, it looked like a good shot as well. So this one looks like a relatively easy one. Is it? Is, it's quite uphill though, isn't it? So yeah. uh, we'll just have to see how I get on here. I'm not the uh, expert at it, like you. It says par two, so. Let's see. I'm for a yellow ball today. Hopefully it brings me a bit of luck. So a three and a three for that one. So moving on round. So Robin's filling in this the score sheet here. I'd say the lighting's all really good here. It looks really really nice. We've got all the sounds that I've started making uh, and the jungle noises and yeah, it makes me want to have a bit of a jive. And I quite like the ambient lighting. We've got a little um, what are these here? So you can get some shark teeth. So these fossilized teeth are millions of years old and are from sharks that are long ex extinct apparently. So uh, there you go, sharks teeth. Um, and the little gachi machine. So, uh, shall I get one? <laughs> Let's go over to hole number two. Oh, I'm actually still on the green here, so uh, Robin's gonna uh, work away across. You can see so there's a glow in the dark octopus there. Here we go. It's Robin. Oh, that's a good shot. <laughs> Sounds like the weather's awful, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I think we're under the sea, actually. Yeah, oh, we've come under the sea, is that what it is? I, I wasn't getting that vibe at all. <laughs> Never mind. So that, was a, so that was another three for the pair of us there. Yeah, yeah. So level pegging here. We work our way around here. You can see there's a, a nice bit of theme in here. There's a, a big temple that you can just make out there. It looks really, really good. Uh, and lots and lots of foliage. And we've got all the jungle noises that are going on here. 
and it looks really, really nice. And there's a little monkey just sat at the top there, scratching his head, and of course, an alligator there as well. So uh, yeah, so we're going to move on to hole number three now and see what this brings us. Um, we'll have to see what the par is, and hopefully, uh, we'll improve three, a bit. So this one's a three. So hopefully, uh, we'll do it in three and not four then this time. <laughs> Here we go, hole number three. Totem poles that I've got knocking about as well. She's uh, she's got all little plants and foliage. It's lovely. Uh, and well, it's always nice when they invest in a bit of uh, rockage, isn't it? So more about the Easter egg hunt that they're doing here over the Easter period. Um, you can get a form from the uh, the main desk, and there's the series of eggs that you're looking for around uh, the, the actual course. Uh, and once you've completed that, what will you be able to get? And some chocolatey treats. Oh, I quite like More the chocolate. Importantly. Yeah, I quite yeah. like chocolatey treats. Yeah, especially at Easter. I'm, yeah, I'm all about that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's Easter egg. Um, we, we've just done whole number three, so we're going on to four now. Yeah, which um, one you've got to do? I need to write it in. So, Robin's using the electronic scorecard here. Which I'm using it very badly. <laughs> which is really good. What did you get for? I, I did. I, I just, yeah, it was four. Right. So, uh, yeah, let's go on to hole number four. You see Robbie's just going up the stairs there, because it does go upstairs, I can hear the noise. So if you're going to turn left at the top of the stairs. Oh, so the temple has started doing a little bit of a show there, which is quite cool. Hole in one. Hole in one. Hole in one. Hole in one. There we go. Hole in one. You can see the uh, alligator there. I like how they're chanting hole in one as we're going up the stairs there. Robin with a Kylo Ren bag. I actually fell over then. <laughs> she fell backwards. Um, so there we go. There's uh, those totem poles there. They look really good. I like them. And uh, make waking our way. This is hole number four. So Robin will give us the deets with regards to what par it is. And uh, <laughs> so we think this one's a three. It's a lot more li light in here, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, yeah. So here she goes. Good first shot. Lots of rock work here. Oh, there we go. Probably two goes. Um, lots of rock work here we've got, which is quite good. And uh, yeah, so I, I like the sound effects. The sound effects are good, aren't they? It kind of reminds me of um, Rainforest Cafe, you know, with the, so, uh, with all the noisy animals and stuff. So I've just got, that's that where I've got to get it into. Hopefully I'll get it into as well. So here goes Robin. Making our way around onto the course now. It's hole number five. Robin hit it too hard because there's a bit of a hump there. I don't know if you can make that out on the camera. But it, the difficulty is, is you've got to get it up here and actually get it down to that hole there. I have noticed the holes are quite big here, so they are quite good if you bring in children. So, uh, yeah, but it's. Get that one in a three. Uh, two. It's two, yeah. So, um. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, must have been so it's so difficult, this one, isn't it? Because you've got to be able to. <laughs> and Robin is normally really good at these as well, but there we go. Oh, surely. Oh, no. The problem is you hit it up. This, this ramp here, and it goes down the other side. My very, I could have got a hole in one and it's ended up going around the rim. And, oh, come on. There we go. Um, so, <laughs> oh, never mind. Just join us on the next hole. It'll be easier. So following that one, Robin's ended up doing the bogey boogie. <laughs> it comes up with like little messages telling you, it was congratulating me before for my greatness, and now it's just telling me I'm terrible. So. It's telling you you're doing the bogey boogie. Yeah. So uh, yeah, now here we've got this um, tiki face here, and you've got to get into one of these three holes, follow it round the foliage. You can see there's three holes here, and it'll take you out towards the hole. So presumably you want it in that third one there, so it comes straight out here, and into this hole. It's quite a big hole as well, so hopefully uh, Robin will demonstrate here. Oh, and it's going into the trench. And you'll see it comes out. And there it is, it trickles out there. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to aim for this one here and we'll get uh, some interaction from the tubes as well. What do you reckon we will? No. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, looks like you're, oh no. Oh, you might have a chance at getting in that hole now, though. Not 
reckon. The cheek, yeah. Oh. Never mind. I mean, you got to get it in there now. Oh, you <laughs> Oh, now you decide. Oh, yeah. We still didn't get hold oh, in what Now happened. I decide to play well. So, I did actually get the interactive sounds from it. Yeah. But, and to be fair, it actually knew as well. It didn't go in the hole, though. No. Oh, the loser's going to be offered to the nice sacrifice. How about that? There we go. Robin's catching up now. So, was that three? There we go. So we're moving on to the next hole here. Robbie's just doing the uh, the old scorecard bit where he'll tell us how terrible we are. And then we're going to move on to hole number seven, which is next. So this is the part two, so it should be quite easy for us. Hopefully, you can see all the, got the ticky masks on the wall there as we make our way down. So uh, you can see all the, the marks there. I wonder if that's just from people whacking the ball. <laughs> yeah, some people are not the best shots. But yeah, so... Um, up to here and then straight into that little hole there's what we're looking for we've got a couple of easter island heads there right then dum dum <laughs> let's have a go at this one and we've also got a nice little house there so we'll have a look at that one when we get round to it so robin's doing the uh, the scores there it's going to end up being close wrote a song about you oh. rhymes with sad oh. Like, oh mj wrote a song about you sorry michael jackson oh Kind of miss the punchline on yeah that, yeah, yeah never mind <laughs> don't i don't trust robin it's a <laughs> joke oh, right, yeah. terrible Right. Uh, what are you about? So appar apparently, I'm, let's just carry on. So we're on uh, hole number eight here. This one looks like a nice little straightforward one. Just going to walk down here. So we'll have a look at the uh, outpost, 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 outpost. Goodness me, I can't even talk now. Outpost outfitters here. It's got baits. It's got hooks. And it looks all quite nice in here. Uh, you've got supplies. You've got ice. It's a very small gate. I don't know if you can actually go in there or not. Whether there's something. That, no. I wonder if it's for children maybe but uh, no you can't go in there so uh, yeah Robin's going to have a go now on this one which I believe is a two. Oh, oh very close there very close indeed oh I like this little bit of theme in the outfit but I can't even see it what did you get it in? Uh, three the outpost outfitters it's really difficult to say can you say it? It says that's a pro level round, well done. Oh, there we go. Just to interrupt what you were talking about then, because that's more important. <laughs> uh, outpost outfitters, can you say that? It's very difficult. And it's just me then. So I do like this little bit of theme in the old outhouse that's here. You've got dry goods, uh, rope. I um, thought it was an A for a second. Um, you want to go? Here we go. The thing is, with this one, they've got a big rock in the middle here, and they've got a banking on that side there, so Robbie's going to have to uh, avoid that, uh, work our way around to use that banking to her advantage to get it into this hole. It's a two. It's a two? Right. Oh, it's a good shot. Oh, not quite good enough. Probably not a two, that either. <laughs> have you tried giving them flowers? Flowers? You know, chimpanzees! Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and try another outfit. Alright then! Did better than me. No, hey, what's well, up? I was reasonably happy with that because um, I had visions it was going to go straight into that brock there. Hey. In two? I'll take that. And two as well. Well done. So this is hole number ten, and it is a par two. So it looks like there's a little bit of a hole here. Um, let's get it in just there, which will take you through. Or let's have a look, and that has a little hole that takes you out here, straight into that hole. Or come down here, take the easy option, and uh, see where it ends up. So uh, Robin's going to have her go now, and uh, we'll see how she does. This was a par two, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. More pink so, today. Yeah, she's all pink. There she goes. Oh, that's a bit. Oh. Can we edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. This happens all the time. Oh. Oh no! How's that happened? <laughs> so, uh, do you want to leave it or just going to leave it there? 
for me in the way. <laughs> Good shot. There we go. So that's hole number 10. So we're going to move on to number 11 now, following these ticky heads down to number 11, round the other side of outpost outfitters. Uh, all the way down here, a little hump in the middle, and we've got some rocks at the end. So there is another hump here, so Robin struggled with this one last time. So she's just doing the scores, and then we'll tear us off at number 11. How is it doing? Is it how, how terrible is it said we are? <laughs> what did you get that in? Three. Uh, it didn't say. Oh, time. oh, must just be all right then. Yeah. So uh, you go first, and uh, oh, so hole number eleven. Here she goes. Oh, that was a good whack. And it's tight against the curb. Oh, yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> you have to watch out for these because you can't see the uh, humps in the floor. Oh dear, never mind. It's got hole number 12 here. We've got a nice bit of theming. We've got a big house there. So obviously the ball's got to come underneath it. Robin, what was the par for this one? There she goes. She's going to tell. Well, Robin's finding out. Um, so you've got to hit the ball underneath this house here, all the way around to the other side, into the hole, which is just there. Nice big hole. Difficult because you can't see where you're going. But uh, yeah, that's a bit theming. Can't see anything that's in there, of course. Um, but go back to Robin. So it is a two, it's a par two, this one. So uh, yeah, let's see how Robin gets on. She, uh, she prepares to tee off. There it goes. It comes out with a rate of knots. And it's a decent position. No, 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 it's a decent position, that. So that was two for the pair of us on that one. So while Robin's tying up the scores, we'll move on to hole number 13. So it says beware of the elephants there. You can see there's one on the top there. Um, I'm hoping he doesn't squirt something because that would be uh, a disaster for us down here. But the, um, yeah, so you can see that the hole is all the way over here. And uh, Robin will tell us what the par ridge is for it. So what's the par? <laughs> three, so this one's a three. Doesn't look like a three, I have to say, but uh, yeah, we'll find out when Robin tees off how difficult this one is. Oh, it's meant to do that. The elephant's gonna get in. I think it, it, it would be really good if there was a little centre or something, that elephant squared water. Maybe it did used to. Yeah, maybe. So we're rattling these off now, hole number 14. That must have been practising again. Oh, Robin must have been practising. Uh, so you can see the advertisement that, that for the Easter Hunt here. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame we're not here for that really, because uh, I could have done with eating all the chocolates we go around. But uh, yeah, so this is hole number 14. What, what was the par for this one? <laughs> See, that's the thing with the electronic scorecard, it's not quite as easy as just uh, whipping three. out. So it's three for this one. And uh, yeah, so I'll have a walk of the course, we go around, there's some big humps here. So it looks like it might be a bit challenging there, but here comes Robin. So, hole number 15 down here, this one is a par two here. They have got some vinyls on the wall here which look quite nice and all in keeping with the theming. Looks quite good. Oh, is it actually painted on? Oh, that's good, isn't it? Looks nice. So, uh, yeah, Robin's going to go now for this par two around the... Oh, we've hit rock. <laughs> well, don't worry, uh, we won't record for when I'm going to do it now. Naturally, because um, you're being so smug. <laughs> Come on, get on with it, what are you doing? Ha! <laughs> you were saying? Oh, Is that why you said don't record? Yes, exactly. <laughs> what are you doing? It's not football. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're incredible. There we go. Uh, this is a three for uh, hole number 16. We've got some big rocks here to work our way through or work around as we get down here to find this hole down there. So, uh, yeah, so Robin's going to have a crack at this now. Let's see if she comes. Oh. 
actually not ended up too bad for you, that. So we're up to hole number 17. It looks like we're level pegging around there. We both did it on par for that one. Whilst Robbie's tightening the scores, let's work, walk this course around here. So hole number 17. Um, this looks like a two to me. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Robin's going to uh, demonstrate how to do this one. Lovely. <laughs> oh, you're going to do good. Look at this. That's good, that. That's... Yeah. I'll take... Nobody's had a hole in one yet. So hole number 18, the last hole. Here we go. So hole number 18, here we go. This looks like a two. Get it through this rocks here and straight into that hole for the final, final hole. Let's see what happens. Robin's going to, uh, under pressure, final shot. Oh, there is, yeah, that, that's an alternative route going up to here. It looks, oh no, oh no, it doesn't actually. There is a hole on this side, which would suggest that you could, but... Um, no. Oh, it was. Yeah. So we've tied up the scores. That app that we was using that to uh, display the scores, we'll not show it because uh, I think it's wrong. It, so. it was really <laughs> close actually, to be fair. So looking at this app, yeah, as you can see, the winner there is Robin. She's got the best score there. So well done to Robin. And um, that is out of the three that we've played recently, best out of three. Best out of three. So you're 2-1. One. Two, two, one. So yeah, so well done. That's good score that. So um, well done. Uh, we do have one more thing, one more opportunity to get a free game though. So we've got the 19th hole here. So you never know, we might get it into uh, the number one there. So if Robin can uh, put a ball down and see if she gets her Oh, all right, all right, okay. We'll put this back. down then. <laughs> right, so after the frivolities of trying to use the... Uh, I couldn't do this. I was the so, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, Robbie's going to try and see if she can get a free game now um, on the 19th hole, so here we go. Oh, it's close. It's off that rim. So, uh, Curses! Oh. Curses upon ye! There you go. So, uh, see so if I can have a go the now. There you go. No free game this time, but, uh, it was good, a lot of fun, wasn't it? So, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, it's me, sorry. <laughs> Can't make it, it's just like... Oh. How rude. <laughs> so that's the end of our round here at Paradise Island Adventure Golf at the Traffic Centre. Uh, we've had quite a bit of fun, haven't we? It's been nice, it's been lovely. Once again, I just want to say a massive thank you to Paradise Island Adventure Golf for inviting us down here uh, and giving us a round of golf because it's been a lot of fun. So, uh, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it, really. It's even better because I've just proved I'm the reigning champion now. Yeah, yeah. So we won't talk about that. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. We've got a lot coming up over this year as well. So uh, if you did like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also uh, don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any more. So thank you very much and we'll see you in the next vlog. Let the positivity in and... Bye down. Bye.